My name is Peter Msami and welcome to my humble studio. Uh, this is a home studio. Uh, it's situated in Arari, Zimbabwe. Uh, I'm going to be showing you works that I did way before and works that I'm currently working on. Uh, the, converse, the conversations presented uh, in these works uh, and they're just talking about you know healing and, and restoration. Uh, that's why they are char characterized by indiscreet stabling in the spirit uh, stitching and the use of almost discarded material. Um, if you come and look a, a little bit closer to this particular piece here, I love this piece. This piece is talking about my family heritage. It's called Birina Ganyere One. Uh, Biri and Biri and Ganyere, you know, so that's that's th those are shorter words. Uh, so Biri na Ganyere, they were just, you know, brothers and sisters. They are our forefathers, our ancestors. Uh, there are so, so many legends about Biri and Gaimi. Uh They led our people from North Africa down south, where we are right now. We crossed the mighty Zambezi. They they helped the family together. They helped the family together. Uh, that's why on this piece I used you know bella and canvas and other various materials in here. Uh, there's stitching. The stitching, the stitching right there, and I'm mostly I'm I'm using red thread. Maybe that's that's just because I just see it uh, as the return to innocence, you know. Uh, since my work is dealing with restoration, there is a lot to be restored uh, in human in humanity, uh, society, uh, people as individuals, you know. We have gone through, we have evolved, we have evolved through. Um, a lot of difficult times, uh, including this COVID-19. We're gonna go through it. We, we're gonna come out, you know, victorious. I know that. Um, so my work is talking about all that. Uh, I'm using Bella. I'm using canvas. I'm using uh, other various ty types of material. Uh, this Bella that I use, I use uh, used Bella. Uh, as you can see, it's got holes in it. It's got it's got some stitches in it. Uh, prior to me using it uh, and I, I use it as it is as I found it uh, just because on its own this material is just is just telling me stories it's telling stories of its own uh, that's that's why I use it as it is uh, so there's the stitching is is incorporated is in, always incorporated incorporated in my work uh, I'm using oils I'm using acrylics I'm using ink as well um, so, um, I just want to show you what I'm currently working on at the moment. I'm working on this piece right here. It's, these are oils and acrylics on, uh, uh, on canvas. Um, but there are other types of materials that, that I'm throwing in there. We have paper and on this section, you see, you can almost peel it off. And that's when, uh, that indiscreet stitching comes in handy just to hold the materials uh, all together. Uh, we have uh, another type of fabric here uh, that, that, that is blending so well with the rest of the canvas. Uh, so I just wanna just demonstrate a little bit on my working process. Yeah, I'm using oils, I'm using uh, acrylics, I'm using ink. Uh, these bottles, these, these tins here, they have, uh, now this is the ink that I'm using. Um, so sometimes I I just uh, make my my paint or my oils liquid, very liquid or semi liquid, uh, just depending on what what I want to do with it. So when it's liquid liquid, I throw it whilst the painting is on the wall. I throw it like that. Uh, that's why you're seeing all these spots here. These are splashes. <laughs> that were happening, you know, all the walls are a mess, as you can see, uh, even the flows. Uh, so yeah, it's a studio. What can we do? And then uh, I want to show you. Yeah, I've got sketchbooks as well. So this is how how my paintings start. Uh, you know, like that. Yeah, abstract artists they have sketchbooks too. <laughs> You know uh, all these sketches. 
So this is how they start and maybe manifest into masterpiece, masterpieces and all. Right. I want to talk. I want to talk a little bit about this sketchbook. Uh, I've got three pages remaining. Why? Because I just transform. I transform this whole sketchbook into a series of paintings <laughs> that I want to call. I, um, I call this series uh, "Skeletons of My Diary." Uh, so this is what came up. Uh, I, I just ripped off uh, all the pages, and you can see the page. It goes from here up to here. The pages in there, and then I just incorporated other other techniques of collaging uh, and, and 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 printmaking in there. There is a print that's in this painting, and then oils, and then oil pastels. So basically, my sketchbook is my diary. So I I, I got this name out of that. My skeletons, skeletons of my diary. So yeah, enough about that. Uh, I just want to show you um, uh, what I've been working on uh, since lockdown in Zimbabwe. Uh, I developed a series called uh, the Zimundiringe. Uh, this is this is a series uh, with conversations, conversations between oneself and uh, their ancestors in a quest to you know seek protection, guidance during these very difficult times that we are living in. So. They started out as prints and then later on developed to a series of paintings, you know. Uh, my prints I never cleaned as, as, as such. They started like this. You see, this is a print. This is a print. So it moved from this to that. That's how the concept went. So, one thing that I've discovered in my working process is uh, the moment I'm working on this particular piece, it just pales away for the next painting, for the next piece. Uh, whatever I'm doing right now is going to develop into something maybe a little more, more dif dif different, but uh, more mature, much better, more complex. Though the conversations might be the same, but the way I'm doing it, the, the, my, my working process is always evolving. Just like that. So this this is the whole bunch of the Zimundiringe series. Uh, this is this is still a work in progress. Uh, uh, I'm using red thread as well. The returning to innocence. So I'm still stitching on this one. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna come out. I don't. I, I never know how a painting is gonna come out until until I'm satisfied. No, this this painting is done. Then I move on. I move on to the next one. So I, I'm always surprising myself as well. <laughs> That's the funny thing about this uh, this type of you know work. So you see this one. This one. I think this one is done. But then the print is is still coming. It's still vivid. And I think I'm gonna leave it like this. So I'm always coming back to my earlier project and just see is this is this where my work is, is this what I want with my work is this is it as it reached the, the, the level of perfection that I want so he said that I'm I'm adding or I'm subtracting something and this one yes it's still it's still in this, in, in, in in the stages of production I'm still working on that. But most of them, they are finished. They are ready to be exhibited, man. And yeah, and and this one as well is from the same series. From the same series, I think I have more than ninety works, or close to a hundred, I think, um, of these works. So. As you can see, I'm using uh, different types of materials. This, this works out on paper, and, th and then I have some kind of fabric here, uh, hand stitched and machine stitched as well. And these are giving me, me uh, the texture that I want. My work is so full of texture, if you have noticed so far. Uh, um, I, did, I did prints as well. Now this print, this this print, this prints were highly influenced by the coronavirus itself. You know, when we when we started hearing about the coronavirus, we were 
I mean, everybody was so confused. How how is it spread? How how do we you know protect ourselves? How so it was sort of a, a, a confusing era, and I had to do these paintings. As you can see, these faces, this portrait, these portraits are more like spitting something, or something's coming out of them. Uh, that's how I felt about the coronavirus when I first heard of it. You know, so there are so many prints here of portraits, portraits of people, portraits of, of people I meet. You see, they are very colorful as well. So I think most of them I'm done with them, but some of the some of some of them I really need to add add more layers of ink, more layers of oil paints on them. But all the same, I I'm satisfied by them. Um, I'm satisfied at this point. So so yeah. So basically, this is how my studio looks like. I've got other uh, stacks of small, small paintings made out of you know scraps from the students from the studio. I don't throw away anything. Uh, these are pieces of you know canvases, pieces of bella, uh, of cuts from bigger projects worked on earlier. And and yeah, this is this is this is also my favorite piece. Uh, it's got different kinds of canvases in there. This is another type of canvas here, another kind of canvas here, forming all this wonderful texture. Uh, we've got another piece of canvas here, and this whole canvas is different from all these pieces on top. So that's how my working process begins and, uh, and ends. Uh, if you can see uh, these little babies, I, I love this series. It doesn't have a name yet, but I'm going to name it. I don't know what, what I'm going to name it, but there's also that indiscreet stitching, indiscreet stapling. And I just want to show you uh, another, seri another series that I did way before. It's called the Chido Passion, the Chido Passion series. Uh, it's done on paper, mounted onto this, you know, uh, wooden board. Um, I'm, I'm incorporating all the techniques that I've shown you before. Uh, machine, uh, machine stitching, hand stitching, uh, oil pastels, oils, and a little bit of ink. Uh, so there are, there, there are about six paintings in this series. Six paintings in this series, whereby I'm using bellup as well, oil paints. Uh, I'm using... Uh, um, scraps from from my friend from my friend down the street who is a tailor he gives me these uh off cuts from his from whatever he's working on this is how they look and this, these are other paintings as well now these are, i did these um on floor carpets uh yeah so sometimes I, I, I have, have to cut the material or the surface that I'm working on, then try to rejoin it as well. That's the other very important aspect of my, my working process. And we have also this one. This one, this one has got crazy, crazy texture. As you can see, I had to strip, strip it down to the bone to get this texture. I've got my staples as well, very indiscreet. I really want them to to show up, to show up in the work and and the stitching as well. Now this is this is where the Chido Passion uh, started on this painting. Um, maybe my camera my cameraman can can zoom in for a little bit so that you can just see uh, all the texture and detail in there. So it's heavily textured. It's it's really magnificent piece of work. Uh, stitching is there, but then what I did in this section here, I really wanted to, to leave the carpet as it was. I wanted to to leave a little bit of originality in the painting, uh, so that you can see how I worked on the on the rest of the surface. Uh, it it can, it, was, it was like this before, but now it, it looks like this. So yeah, so basically this is my studio. Uh, it's a very small studio. Studio. Uh, I've got a lot of works in here. Uh, 
There are other three paintings at the back of this one. At the back, we got one, two, three paintings. Uh, I think these are the biggest projects that I've ever done uh, in this studio. Um, so yeah, this this is me. This is Peter Sani signing out. Uh, thank thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.